Hey guys, Loot Wizard here with another video on Gems of War, and I want to just make a quick uh, video here listing out the different troops that are gem transformers. And I do think that they are the best mana generating troops for beginners. And so, why do I think this? Well, um, and I've come to this realization, especially since I've started a new account playing through from the beginning of Gems of War, that uh, you don't have a lot of magic when you're at the early parts of the game. And so when you use a lot of the destroyer troops and exploder troops, those troops uh, rely on having a lot of magic in order to destroy or explode most of the board. Uh, but these gem transformer troops, do not rely on magic. You can use these right from the beginning of playing the game as soon as you get these troops, and you can use them, and they're just as effective even later in the game, no matter how high you get. So these are the best beginner mana troops, I think, and starting here, I have them color-coded, and this is going to be a nice little quick video showing uh, which troops convert to which colors. So we have Valkyrie here in the first for blue, and it is a really good troop because it's only 10 mana cost and it will give you souls based on your current magic. But you can select any color on the board and convert it to blue with Valkyrie. And you can do the same thing with Storm Singer as well. Uh, that one will also summon a random storm uh, when you cast it. But it uses a, uh, a different color there, purple, so you can... Um, it's good to use one of these mana converter troops with colors of other troops that you're converting that color to. So if you have powerful blue troops, so if you have a, like a blue legendary troop, uh, a troop that uses the blue mana, then you can include Valkyrie or Stormsinger and you'll be able to uh, create a lot of mana for that troop. Um, so same thing here with red. You have Lord Ember and you have Hellcat. Uh, both of these will do essentially the same thing. Um, and there's a little different uh, a sub kind of ability that it has. So Lord Ember will give all other allies one magic when you cast it. As for Hellcat, it will do a little bit of damage uh, based on your magic every time you convert a color to red. And you can see there's a little bit higher mana cost on those, uh, but it's not much. It's 12 instead of the 10 for the blue converters. But, uh, you know, these troops are really great all through the game, but especially early game when you want a good troop that can generate mana for you. Um, here is green and yellow. So most of these uh, colors have at least two troops that do this. Um, there's one last kind of for yellow. It's a little different. The diviner is a little different, but uh, we'll get to that in a second. Green seer here at the very uh, left is for green. Uh, you can select a color, and then it will convert that color to green, and it will ta entangle a random enemy. Uh, spirit Dancer is a little bit more of a mana cost, but it will summon a Spirit Fox. So it can summon a whole nother troop uh, when you do transform a color. Um, and it's kind of weird that the uh, Spirit Dancer is not listed as a mana generator. So if you go to the options list in Gems of War and you select the mana generator and you scroll through that whole list, you're not going to find it. Uh, you will have to do a search for Spirit Dancer. I don't know why it's not listed under um, a mana generator, but that's that's the way it is. So um, then we have Alchemist for the yellow color, and you can transform a selected color to, man, uh, to yellow, uh, and you'll also gain some gold based on some magic there. Um, and Diviner, now getting to that, it's a little bit different. You can transform a chosen color to yellow, um, and then it has a bunch of other things going on. One of the following will happen, enchant all allies, or increase all allies' magic, or cleanse all allies. So it has a bunch of other things there. But you can transform a chosen color to yellow with the Diviner troop. So Diviner and Alchemist, those are pretty much your yellow transformer troops. Moving on here to the last two colors, we have brown and purple. Uh, so Apothecary is a really great mana converter troop for brown because it will cleanse all allies, and that's a really powerful thing all through the game, uh, being able to cleanse your troops from any negative status effects. Uh, it's also uh, the low mana cost of 10, just like Valkyrie was uh, in the for the blue color. But we also have this uh, Christ Turtle, uh, which will convert a chosen color to brown and barrier and submerge a random ally. Uh, so that's also good too. So for example, if you have 
Um, if you have a lot of brown troops that also use green, um, and you don't want apothecary in there because it might uh, conflict with that green color, but uh, you could use the Christ turtle, and you won't have a problem with that green, but you'll still be able to convert uh, a chosen color to brown. Uh, for purple, we have the giant spider, and we have Enrias. I think I'm saying that <laughs> right, I don't know. But um, those two troops are your purple converters, and they do have different colors. Uh, there's blue and green there for the giant spider, and Enrias has brown and yellow. Now, both of those troops do summon other troops, and I think that's why they have a little higher mana cost. So those are pretty much the... Uh, covers all six mana colors. But those mana-generating troops here, these transformers are great because you don't need any magic in order to get all of that mana. And what's great about them too is you can select a gem that you want to convert to another color. So it's possible, not every time, but most of the time you can get four matches or five matches and that'll get you an extra turn while you're converting that mana. Now really quick before I uh, end the video here, I just want to show you that mixing a couple of these troops together in the same team will gain a, a looping combo for you. You'll be able to loop these troops because they transform colors for each other. So for example, the Christ Turtle over here uh, will convert a color to brown, which if you have Alchemist or you have the Diviner in that team, those tr two troops use brown. So the, the, the Christ Turtle will be able to transform into the color that those two use, and if those get full, you can transform a color to yellow, which is a color that the Christ Turtle uses. And you could loop that back and forth, and of course, you know, you're not going to win a game without doing, or win a match without doing some kind of damage, so you're going to have to have a troop in there that's going to also be able to do damage. But these are just uh, where some of these combinations of looping can come from, mixing these different uh, gem selector transformer troops. You can do that with Storm Slinger and you can do that with Giant Spider. Those two back and forth convert uh, mana colors for each other. Uh, same thing if you put Alchemist and Hellcat together. Hellcat creates red mana and Alchemist creates yellow colors for each other. Um, and you have another combination here where you have the Giant Spider who's creating purple and that can fill up your Spirit Dancer or your Green Seer and the Green Seer or Spirit Dancer can fill up your purple or your, your uh, the giant spider. And that's pretty much the end of uh, <laughs> all the transformer troops here. So let's go back to the beginning real quick and I just want to show you the overview here real quick. For blue you have Valkyrie and Stormsinger. For red you have Lord Ember and Hellcat. For green you have Green Seer and Spirit Dancer. For yellow you have Alchemist and Diviner. And for brown, you have Apothecary and Christ Turtle. And for purple, you have Giant Spider and Enrias. So there you go, guys. It's a short video and some really good mana uh, generators here for beginners and all the way through to no matter how high level you go, you can use any of these troops and get a lot of good mana for your team. So... Hope that helps you out, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video, and if it did, please leave a like on this video and consider subscribing because that gives me more motivation to make videos like this in the future. Thanks, and I'll catch you on the next one. Later.